Hi, I'm Addie D. Hilster, and we're recording today the second mini lesson in this mindfulness meditation series that I'm doing on IGTV. So I hope you'll follow along with this short talk about this week's meditation and then try the next video, which will be the meditation practice itself for this week. And this week we're focusing on mindfulness in the body. We've already started to touch on this last week in the first video as we were practicing mindful breathing. Mindful breathing obviously is very connected to what's going on in the body. And we're gonna take this a little bit further this week contemplating how this, um, we notice this phenomenon of when we bring our attention here in the present moment and we keep coming back to the breath and we keep observing what is arising, what we find is we really land here in the body and the body becomes our home in the present moment. It's uh, really the closest thing we ever can have to a home. Nothing could possibly be more immediate or more available to us than this body that we, we live in. So breath practice is one way of coming home to the body mindfully and we can also observe sensations in the body. And there's a wide range of sensations that we experience. The body is very dynamic. When we, even when we sit still, we can observe this quality of the body that it's always in flux, it's always adjusting, it's, it's quite alive. <laughs> and sensations can range from intense ones to really subtle ones from sensations that last a while to sensations that pass really quickly. Sensations move around different parts of the body. We might be more familiar with sensations in some areas than in others, which is often the case. And we also notice that some sensations we regard as being pleasant. We enjoy experiencing them. And even sitting in meditation, we'll feel some of those pleasant moments of sensation of that feeling of like, ah, oh, I'm relaxing, I'm settling in, I'm letting go of some tension. And it's also really common for us to notice uncomfortable sensations or unpleasantness while we're meditating. We'll have little aches and pains that show up in the body. And some of that maybe you can attend to by making sure that your seated posture is appropriate whether you're on the floor or you're in a chair. Um, these are all good postures as long as we have enough support for the body to have um, the most sustainable seated position we can have. And we also have a history in the body. We may have had injuries, we may have chronic pains and things that are present more or less for us. So we'll also notice uncomfortable sensations related to those sometimes in meditation. So our practice is really getting, getting comfortable with letting the body be as it is. And it doesn't always show up the same way. So we're learning to release some of our assumptions about the body and to get a little bit closer to what is happening in the moment. One of the things that stops us from doing this more naturally in our daily life is just that we have a lot of thoughts and conditions and images and memories and opinions about um, the body. <laughs> we have um, sometimes a complicated relationship with our own body. It has its own history and it has all these different stories and memories connected to it and things we associate with the body. Of course, this is really universal and normal it's not just any one of us that, that has that when we sit and meditate with the body. But our practice is to learn to observe more deeply than just that surface layer of the stories or assumptions or the things we think that about the body or the ways we think it needs to be. So we're training ourselves to experience the body more and more just as it is right now. And this opens to us a whole new possibility of developing a different relationship to the body. We can start to challenge some of those assumptions we have about the body. We can start to 
let the body be and learn from it as a teacher. And of course, we can use the body more and more as a link back to the present moment anytime that we're getting lost elsewhere. So I hope this gives you a little food for thought on mindfulness of the body. And let's tune into the next, I hope you'll tune in with me to the next lesson here, which will actually be a meditation on body sensations. So thank you so much for listening and practicing.